Hi guys, many of you have been requesting a video guide on how to configure and install my version of the Daisy server and so here it finally is. What this tutorial assumes is that you already have a working installation of Arma 2 combined operations uh, with Daisy mod. So it should look about like this. First we'll go over the software that needs to be installed before we can run our server. So we'll download, you should download and install MySQL community server and I'll be showing you how to install and configure that. Besides that you will have to install MySQL net connector and MySQL Workbench, which will be used uh, for configuring and managing our, our database. And also you will have to install Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead Beta Patch 94876. The reason I'm not telling you to install the mm, latest one is because I heard that there are issues with it and the DayZ. And last but not least, of course, you will have to install my server files. And you can do that in two ways. You can either click the zip button and it will give you a zip of the whole repository. And you can zip it and, and, and install. Or you can click clone in Windows, which requires the GitHub application but uh, lets you only download the updates that are made to the code and not the whole thing again like you do with the zip option. So I'm gonna go ahead and click clone windows and open the github application. As you can see I've already uh, have this repository cloned you here you can see a readme and what this allows you is you can see what I've changed in the code and uh, download the latest files and, and install what you need. And they generally, the, the repository generally gets cloned in the documents section. So we'll go to documents, github, Daisy private and here we have the repository with the latest files. So what we're going to do here is we'll copy all of the contents from the directory, click Ctrl C, open our Arma 2 directory and click Ctrl V. You can see it's installing. It's yes. We will want to replace that, replace that, replace, replace, replace. Okay. So now we have all the required files installed. Uh, we haven't yet installed the MySQL server. We'll do it now. Here's the installation of the MySQL server 5.5. Accept user agreement. We want a custom installation. Disable debug binaries and debug symbols. Next. Oh, wait a sec. Back. We want to also, I want to ch change the default location of the files to D next install. Now when the installation finishes it will launch a configuration wizard. Next, next. This should be ticked. Finish. Yes. And here is the configuration wizard. Click next. 
you want a detailed configuration and here you have to choose whether you want developer machine or server machine if you are playing on the same machine um, you are hosting the server then I suggest you pick the first option because I'm just using this as a server I will pick the server machine option multifunctional database D next we'll want a manual setting and set the concurrent connections to 5 because it will be generally only us connecting to the database default port enable TCP IP networking add firewall exception for this port and next manual car set we want UTF-8 to be our default and next we will install it as a Windows service by the name of MySQL and launch it at the start of Windows next we have to pick the password for the root user which is the admin administrator and click next and click it okay so the MySQL server is now installed and we're going to click finish you should also have installed MySQL net connector by now and MySQL workbench and uh, Optionally, if you want vehicles, you should also install Perl for Windows. I use Strawberry Perl, and here are the download links. You should install it and do the steps described in my guide in the Perl section to install DBE and generate the vehicles for your uh, for your database but uh, that's not until we finish installing the rest of the stuff okay so we are finished with downloading and installing stuff and now we will uh, set up our database uh, to do that launch up my school workbench so here's my school workbench we'll go to the SQL development section first and click open connection to start querying now this window should show up and uh, you should input the username root because we'll be adding a new database and that's the only user for now hostname port according to the setup which is localhost so 127001 and uh, 3306 port mm. we click OK if uh, it will ask you for a password here so here it is an SQL editor and what we have to do here is click file then open SQL script and find dz1 underscore 91 sql in our dz uh, in our arma installation double click and we see that they opened okay so we run it by clicking the lightning button you can see that everything was successful and by cli right clicking on this pane and clicking refresh all we can see that the new database was in fact created we can check what's inside the tables and that seems about right okay so uh, what we now have to do is go to the administration panel double click it 
and go to users and privileges and create a new user named Daisy now mm, in the host section we will leave a percentage and this will allow any host to use the user Daisy who has our password now we have to input the password for this user so in this case for me it will be uh, ala123 okay apply and we can see that a new user has been created let's go to schema privileges and we will now set the privileges for our user to the Daisy database. Click any host, select the schema, select Daisy, click OK. Now we will grant him privileges to select, insert, update, delete and execute. Save changes and we can see that in fact it changed. That's it for MySQL Workbench now. However, we will be coming back here to configure our instances. So let's close this for now. We should now check that our decimal separator is a dot and not a comma. You can do this by clicking start and typing in the search field regional number. You can see that change the date, time or number format showed up. You can click enter and click additional settings. Now in the decimal symbol field we input a dot and not a comma. Apply, OK, apply, OK. Next thing we have to do is configure databases txt. So we go to our Arma installation and search for this file here it is we open it and we can see here a row daisy localhost port user daisy with password previously input in the user creation in the workbench which for me is ala123 save and close we now proceed to configuring the sanctuary folder open config cfg here you can edit your server host name admin password the number of slots reporting ip this is set to LAN. If you want an online online one, you have to input the uh, Arma uh, GameSpy IP. Message of the day and the mission file that should be used by the server. It is important if you are running several servers, you can run several instances. Uh, on the same database. For now we'll leave it to one. Okay, we enter the bottom line folder and edit BE server CFG. You can set here the max ping for our server and an Aircon password. For me it's Alamakota. Okay, so that's it for the configuration of the server. We also want to insert some vehicles into our server and we do that by running the vehicles PL script which we can execute by copying this line with direct uh, read path and opening command line and we have 
to first switch the disk in my case D CD we paste the directory enter and as you can see we are in this directory we run Perl minus W and V equals PL and you can see it uh, wrote what argument it needs before it can start so we're gonna go ahead and input just an instance number which in our case was one and the password for the user daisy which was ala123 enter and we can see that the script spawned 21 randomly damaged vehicles so they are now inserted and will be spawned on the next server start we can close that we now proceed to configuring our instances we open up MySQL Workbench go to SQL Development and open DayZ and down right click Instances Edit Table Data now we find the instance number for us it was 1 and we can set the time zone of our server let's set it to minus 4 which for a server in Poland means GMT minus 4 and uh, minus 3 in game. And we can also set here uh, an initial loadout that each player will start at the start uh, of his life on, on your server. We'll here you have a guide explaining how things work. We will input a string that I have here. Okay, so it is here. We click apply, apply, and finish. And our server should now be configured. So we close this. Go to our ARMA directory, click server bot and wait for the server to start up. We can see that the server is up, so we start our game. We can see that the server is visible in the browser. Double click it, it is joinable, we click OK. OK, so it looks like we load it. We select our gender. And here we are in Chernarus. OK. Oh, it's lagging a bit on my laptop. We click G. You can see that the initial loadout has been saved. We have a compass, map, watch, torchlight, yes. three bandages, painkillers, and a tent. So everything worked fine. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy playing on the server and have fun. Kiss the beer.